Um, Dean, what's your thoughts on the game and how the guys got it done at the end? Yeah, kind of, you know, coming into the game today, you were kind of a little bit unsure of, you know, what we were going to get from this group. You just haven't haven't had enough time together, not enough games. and um, But, yeah, you know, they got off to a pretty good start and probably started a little different than we, than we thought, you know, going for the pretty, pretty big group out there to start with. Um, and, yeah, I thought the back end of the first quarter, we got ourselves back into it. And yeah, found a little rhythm, you know, with the three ball, um, which was you know pretty huge for us over over the course of the game. Um, yeah, I'm sure we'll look at some things at the end of regular time that we could have done better to to try and close it out. But to get into right now for this group to get into an overtime game um, and come through strong in that was um, you know really pleasing. Obviously. You know, X had one hell of a game, and um, you know, CG and both of them making six threes each, and um, you know, really wanted the basketball were, were huge for us. That's probably exactly how you pictured it when you signed them, huh? Six threes each a game, <laughs> just, just blast or blast away. Yeah, you know, we 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 certainly want to get up over thirty threes a game, um, but yeah, the goal was always to try to be around making it 11 or, or 12. So to, to stretch that thing to 18 and still to get to, you know, get to the foul line as much as we did as well as a kind of a, a good balance. Um, yeah, but defensively, you know, they challenged us with their on-ball screening today, their, their ability to roll on the rim, the ability to hit floaters in the paint. And, um, you know, it's probably the, the biggest work on for us is going back and just, you know, how, how much better can we be in the, in the ball screen. Against that team, is some of that just adjusting to not having Ariel now and having to use different guys in different places that inside once getting scored there. Yeah, I think it's just it's a relationship thing between the bigs and our guards, and um, obviously, you know, we've still got Shilly, one of our best on-ball defenders, to add to the group as well. And you know, when you can see, um, you know, what we saw tonight that. You know, X and Shea playing together is, is something that can be, you know, real. They're the two best on-ball defenders. And if teams are going to put, um, like, a Lee Arthur and a Brown on the floor or a Will White, guys, that multiple guys that use the on-ball really well, you know, hopefully we, we can match up a little better. So, you know, great, great day for you. How'd, the, how'd that feel out there to have the points going, the assists going as well? Felt good. Felt good to um, come out here and, and to do, you know, whatever it took to, to help us win a night, you know. Um, Coach challenged me in the preseason um, to be able to, you know, shoot the ball. Um, I was I was being hesitant in, in, in the in the preseason, and you know we had a talk, and he challenged me, and um, I, you know I really took that to heart, and um, I wanted to come out here and, and you know help us get a win tonight, and um, do that by any means necessary. So when you get challenged like that by the coach, does that also give you some confidence to go? He wants me to do. Things. Exactly. That was that was my biggest takeaway. Is obviously, you know, you get challenged by a coach of his stature, and you you can kind of sit back and you can kind of fold, or you can kind of st- uh, rise to the occasion. And um, my biggest takeaway from it, and, and you know, talking to my closest people, was you know he wants you to shoot the ball. He wants you to get those attempts up. You know, he wants you to be aggressive in, in shooting those threes because it's going to help us. Um, and you know, I've. I've put in the work, I've put in the time, and um, it was about that confidence to be able to do it. And, and knowing that he has that confidence in me um, was big for me. So that was my, probably my biggest takeaway. Do you feel you're a better shooter now than you were last season? Like, have you got better? Definitely, definitely. I've, I've put in a lot of work, put in a lot of work to, to be able to um, become a really good three-point shooter. And I said, I, like I said, I think that biggest step for me was having the confidence to shoot him, to continuously shoot him make one if the next one's a great one you got to shoot that one too um and that was um something that we worked on all, all summer long what is it about playing in jca for do you, do you just love the place or is it yeah it's a it's a special arena it has a you know a great feel um it's very similar to an nba arena obviously the fans are absolutely amazing it's a hostile environment um yeah and it's just probably my favorite place to play you're setting the bar pretty high with tonight's performance yeah, um, you know, I, like I said, I just wanted to do whatever it took for us to, to get a win tonight. Um, and I know, you know, after a game like this, there's going to be different coverages. And whether that's me getting what it is tonight or coming out and having big assist games or being that guy that's that one extra pass, um, you know, whatever it is, um, I think that, you know, I'll, I'll be able to, to, to step up in, in, that, um, in that space and help just be uh, one of our, our leaders of this team. 
Dean, you touched on the defensive stuff and it sort of definitely first half it didn't look like a Dean Vickham and defensive team. They got a lot of stuff very close to the hoop, a lot of blow bys and things like that. Did that frustrate you? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I want this this team shown when they're totally locked in that they can be a great defensive team and we only, we only showed it in patches tonight. Um, and again, the, the rebounding part is the, just the finish plays. We just didn't finish some of those. I thought they got second shots, so certainly in the first half. I thought we rebounded a little bit better in the second half. But um, yeah, we're just we're we're growing, you know, slowly with our defensive habits. And um, you know, D Trans is one that we've still got to get better at as well. And that's going to be um, you know already looking forward to Sydney to say you know how f fast they got out and played last night that you know we're going to have to be great in that area. You're obviously looking at things with Ariel and, and you've already touched on it but um, does tonight um, give it more immediacy to find a replacement or to make a change or are you still let's see how it pans out? Yeah, you know, like any team, when you lose a play, you, you do your due diligence and you know what's available and all those kind of things. That um, yeah, we're certainly in, in in no rush right now. We just want to you know get this group together and, and see what this group's really capable of and um, yeah, move forward from there. Dean, just on Shay, is he a guarantee for next week, or are you pretty pretty sure he's back, or how's he come on? Yeah, no, he's not a guarantee. You know, um, you know the. So far, the symptoms have continued to, to lessen, um, but there's still some symptoms. And uh, until he gets to zero symptoms and, and gets some full practices in and, and get, regains the confidence to play the way that he wants to play and make sure that he knows he's going to be OK, um, you know, we'll just we'll take it slowly with him. And when he's ready, he's ready. What, what did happen to him, Dean? Was it a practice incident? Or? Yeah, he, he copped a elbow in practice and um, it wasn't automatic. He went home that night, he kept playing and he went home that night and started to get some symptoms that night. So, And then once we got him back into, um, you know, to, you know, participating in one-on-one -on -one and things like that, he, he just, he took a little knock again and he just, so, um, yeah, we saw a couple extra symptoms after that. So he was really close to, to getting back to playing, but um, yeah, so we just got to be cautious. Guys.